My blueberry muffins are famous around here. They're my number one seller. The recipe was my grandmother's. It's a secret, and needless to say, I guard it pretty closely. My business depends on it. Another thing I guard closely is the credit card information of my customers. PCI DSS stands for Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. It's a standard that helps business owners like us prevent credit card fraud, hacking, and other security threats. As business owners who accept credit cards, we have to be PCI DSS compliant. It's a mandate from the payment brands, and we have to validate that compliance at least once a year. Businesses that don't and that maintain a relationship with one or more of these card brands risk losing their ability to process credit cards. And there could be substantial fines and an audit. Even for small to mid-sized businesses, fines can be pretty significant. Here's an example. A restaurant recently compromised information on 20,000 Visa cards. This led to $800,000 worth of fraud. So, Visa fined the restaurant the $800,000 to recover the losses. That's a lot of bread. The restaurant had to pay the investigation fees too, and those typically start at $10,000. So, non-compliance can be pretty expensive. And it's more than fines and fees. Think about the loss of business reputation and revenue. A recent study showed that 70% of the cost of non-compliance was loss of revenue. That could mean the end of our business. So, how do we make sure we comply? It starts by engaging a qualified security vendor to determine risk and validate compliance. There are two parts to the validation process. The first is the PCI Self-Assessment Compliance Questionnaire. It looks like this. And no matter how many visa transactions they complete each year, all business owners need to complete this questionnaire. It includes questions about your policies, procedures, and physical security measures as they relate to the transmission of cardholder data. The second part of the process is the vulnerability scan. If you process more than 1 million visa transactions per year, or if you process more than 20,000 e-commerce visa transactions per year, you'll also need to complete a quarterly vulnerability scan. It checks your network to see if there are any weaknesses or gaps that could allow an unauthorized user to break into your network and steal cardholder data. Scans, by the way, must be performed every quarter by an approved scanning vendor. Some businesses processing fewer than 20,000 visa transactions per year also need the scan, but this could vary. Your qualified security vendor will know if this applies to you. So, how long does this whole process take? It varies, depending on the complexity of the network and whether or not there are non-compliance issues to be resolved. Generally, though, it can take about 5 to 10 minutes to enroll in the program and 15 minutes to complete the self-assessment questionnaire. So in less than 30 minutes, you could be PCI compliant, which is about as long as these blueberry muffins will last. <music>